Hello everyone, thanks for joining me once again and we're going to continue our lawn care series uh, within the playlist that I'm hoping you'll follow and I'll link to at the end of this video. Multi-step process in improving your lawn and this particular video is about how to fix your lawn soil and why lawn soil amendment is important. I can tell you that too many chemicals are being sprayed on our lawns today. Uh, we see it, something pop up in the lawn, maybe there's weeds or maybe we don't like the way the lawn looks and we immediately run to the store and buy something that will apply with our spreader or spray with the hose and all we're doing is, is trying to treat what we can see visually but we're not really fixing the problem which is really in your soil. So what I want to start doing, I'm going to do something different this year. I'm going to use MagiCal Plus, which is this product here uh, by Jonathan Green. Um, this one is made in multiple versions. And uh, this one is for uh, where, when your pH is low uh, or acidic. They also make a version for when your pH is too high or alkaline. Now, um, we're going to test the, the pH in my soil right now. Reading on the pH tester shows me about 5.8. And this is the reading that I've gotten at almost every spot around the yard. And some spots just a little bit lower than this. You want the pH to be between 6.2 and 7, but what I'm going to shoot for is closer to uh, 7. I want to be on that higher range. Um, and you know, which means is that it's not going to happen just with one application. I'm li likely going to have to do an, a follow-up application maybe later in the season. I'm applying this right now in the spring. So in addition to raising the pH, uh, MagiCal Plus activates microbial activity. It helps to break down the nutrients and so that way they can be released so your grass can actually absorb them. Sometimes the the nutrients lay dormant in the in the earth and they're un, they're not released and your grass roots are unable to access them so MagiCal Plus helps with that. Now in addition to raising the pH and helping with the nutrients uh, it's going to help with microbial activity also and that's this microbial activity is going to create gaps in your soil where roots can grow deeper and the water can can seep in farther. Uh, so, you know, right now, if you if you dig up your lawn and you have a, 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 a clay soil, you might find that your roots are not going that deep. Worms will also thrive in this environment, which helps, again, create more gaps in the soil. So over time, you're going to notice that your soil is changing. If you have a clay soil, it's going to change from nutrient uh, from from clay over to nutrient rich topsoil. Now take a look at this picture that I'm going to put up on the screen. This is a photo of uh, someone's pool that was being dug and at the time you can see the excavation happening and you look at that it looks, a, looks like about 18 inches worth of d dark topsoil and that happened over time utilizing these Jonathan Green products that help with your soil. Now this is not going to happen like I said in one year. This is multiple treatments over the course of you know, a few years, but this is what you're shooting for. Now, like I said, this will help with uh, loosening your soil. A lot of people, including myself, over the past have gone out and rented aerators. And, you know, in theory, that's a good thing to do because you want to aerate your soil. But if you're aerating clay, then it's just temporary because what will happen is, is that it'll just compact once again and then you're still left with compacted soil and clay soil. All you did was temporarily aerate it. So what we're trying to do is aerate the soil on a permanent basis by changing uh, your, uh, your lawn soil altogether. So now I'm gonna go out there and apply MagiCal Plus. You're gonna watch me do it. Uh, watch me take a few passes and then we're gonna come back and I'll, ch I'll share with you what's next. All right, here we are. Here's the, uh, the larger 54 pound bag of uh, MagiCal Plus. And when you flip it over, it's going to have the instructions for you. It'll show you where, which settings, depending on your uh, type of spreader. 
I happen to have the Jonathan Green uh, lawn spreader that I just uh, did a video on, which I'll also link to. And according to this bag, we should have a setting of 14, which I have set there. And depending on the spreader that you have, you'll just look it up, okay? It's gonna explain to you how to, how to apply it, which direction to go in, and, uh, and it's pretty simple. So let's get this product into the uh, hopper and we'll start applying it. Okay, so now that the application is done, I want to mention to you that you should do a little light watering afterwards so you can start getting the, the uh, product to break down into the soil. You should, before you apply it though, check your long range forecast. You do not want to do this right before a heavy rainstorm. You don't want everything to wash away. So the next step in the process and the next video you're going to see is uh, seeding the lawn, which lawn seed I'm choosing and why and the correct way to apply the seed. And, uh, and then after that, we're gonna go to starter fertilizer. So it's gonna be, uh, like I said, a multi-step process. I hope you uh, join me and, and watch all of these videos over time. We're gonna continue this at least for the next year and watch the entire playlist. And you're gonna watch how my lawn transforms from something that may, may have been ordinary at one time to one that will be the envy of your whole neighborhood.